singing. That was actually a beautiful first pull. Okay, guys, this is Bill Cannon from Awesome Engines. Uh, we've been uh, asked to freshen up this little nitrous motor. Uh, it was running five O's with uh, like a 300 shot and a really good car, and he wanted to step it up, and he's kind of stepped it up like he's buck wild now. But anyway, we just did a, uh, a warm-up pull. It was the first pull in a week, but we left it alone. We got all the nitrous on it. Um, it we've got it all wired correctly, and we've plumbed it, and uh, we've done all of our own jetting. It is a, uh, a two-stage fogger. And then it's got a nitrous outlet. Uh, I guess it's called a volcano plate or something. Never used it. We just playing with the foggers here. And um, he just wanted to get a baseline on some tuning, which this motor just went from, it made 680 horsepower raw on pump gas. And um, it is a pro street motor, so it doesn't have the compression your normal motor, your normal motor, motors have. But we used a 225 shot, and the motor went 1,016 on the first pull. At, and it was, it, was, it was climbing. I only pulled it to 6,600 RPM. Um, didn't want to do anything stupid because this is my paycheck right here. But I'm going to give you a little look at it. It is a uh, Dart Iron Eagle block we've done like 10 years ago. It's got a um, Cali's, the older Cali's forge crank in it. It's a full 125. It's got a full 165 bore nail. It makes 450 inches. It's got a Dart 18 degree fully CNC ported heads, titanium valves. That was all done by Dart for us uh, way back when. So... Uh, we took the pistons out. They were 14 to 1. Yeah, it was a pro. Well, it was a pro street car with high compression. But he's running like uh, right now. He'll have 250, 250. It's five, and the plate 600. So now he's about between 1,000 and 1,200, depending on how it works. When I stuck it with the first stage, and nobody could tell me exactly what it was, but I kind of figured 225. It um, it far exceeded. It made about 300 off of that, and that's a 28, 22 spread with a uh, six and a half pounds of fuel pressure with a 70 jet, not a 73. And um, I left it a tad bit safe. So here it is, I'm gonna let you look at it. We actually put a front mounted distributor on it for uh, Jessel. And uh, hold right on here. I gotta turn my water off, I'm, I'm leaking. We did a front mounted distributor we also did a belt drive from Jessel. We put an ATI dampener on it. It had an old Chinese. It wasn't. It was a. It was a low pro build before. But anyway, the um, we did the fuel system. All this fuel system is calibrated to about. I don't know. It's pretty close on the fuel. It's my own custom setup. The first stage is here. Second stage is here. The third stage, which we don't have, he's got to put that in his car. But this is on his carburetor. Um, he's got a separate system for his carburetor by itself, so it just runs at eight pounds. And these three are going to be the nitrous. The Magnafuel, two Hollies is all we need. This one is at six and a half. Um, this one's at six and a half, but that's only on a, uh, like I said, a 225, 250 shot. The fogger's all done. The, uh, the plate system is, as you can see, all sixes. This should be a number eight right here. We only have a number six, as you can see, and we had the bottle right at 925 pounds, and it's sitting here right now at uh, about 900 pounds. So, other than that, the motor does have a steel pan. It's got our big tube nitrous headers on it. It's got a four-inch exhaust with a collector, not the five, and uh, we are pulling vacuum on the motor. It's pulling seven to eight inches. We put the Moroso or the MSD plug in, and there's the nitrous outlet set up. Uh, we did have our special racing fuel, our tune-up on it. I'm not going to be, uh, I'm not that, that sticky about it, but we were running 37 degrees on the motor total timing because it is a pump gas motor. So we backed the timing down to 35. We're pulling 7 degrees out, as you can see on the head of the spray. We only got a seven degree retard right there. Uh, where's it at? There it is. And uh, 
It's wired in one wire. This has multiple stages, and we do do them, but my dyno is only good for 1,400 horsepower, and I don't feel like breaking it. But as you can see, it's all plumbed up nice. It's got a 1050 dominator. It's an animal. And uh, this old girl is going to run 460s with just the two foggers. And I don't know what he's going to do with that plate system. He's all by himself there. I can't do it on my dyno. Other than that, she's all done. See you later. Awesome Engines is back again with the nitrous setups. We're going to make a point this year. See ya.